Lesson 30. Katie. One morning, Katie was late. She could not find her algebra book or her slate. The string of her bonnet was torn and she ran about looking for the lost articles. Her aunt Izzy insisted on sewing on the string of her bonnet and she had to stand as still as she could while this was being done. As soon as she was released, she rushed to the gate, terribly afraid that she would be late for school. She was. A day begun in this way is pretty sure to carry on badly. The whole morning, things seemed to go wrong. Katie made mistakes twice in her grammar. Her hand shook so much that her writing could hardly be made out and Mrs. Knight said that she had to copy her composition again. Tears came to her eyes, and for fear that the other girls would notice, she ran to the yard as soon as the bell and sat on the wood house roof. It was a warm, breezy day and a sudden gust of wind blew Katie's bonnet over the fence into the very middle of the compound of Miss Miller's school. This was horrible. In another minute, their enemies, the Miller girls would be out and they would dance around the bonnet, play football with it and wave it over the fence. Was it to be tolerated? Never. Katie slid quickly down the roof and with one bold leap jumped into Miss Miller's yard. Just then the bell tinkled. Out poured the girls from Miss Miller's school. They were furious that Katie had dared to enter their school in such a bold way. With loud cries of anger they threw themselves upon Katie, but she was quicker than they, and with the rescued bonnet in her hand was already halfway up the fence. There are moments when it is a fine thing to be tall. In one second Katie managed to get to the top of the wall. Just as she went over, a Millerite seized her by the foot and almost dragged her boot off. With a kick, Katie released herself and had the satisfaction of seeing her enemy fall head over heels backwards, while she, with a scream of victory and fright, fell, head first, into the middle of, a group of her schoolmates. The knights were thrilled and full of pride and triumph. Katie was kissed and hugged and made to tell the story of her victory again and again. Adapted from what Katie did at school by Susan Coolidge. A. Answer the following questions. 1. Why was Katie late for school? Answer. Katie was late for school that morning for various reasons. She could not find her algebra book or her slate and had to run about looking for them. The string of her bonnet was torn and Aunt Izzy insisted on sewing it on and Katie had to stand still while this was being done. 2. What were the things that went wrong for Katie in class that morning? Answer. Katie made mistakes twice in her grammar. Her hand shook so much that it was difficult to read what she had written, and so Mrs. Knight told her to copy her composition again. 3. Why did Katie go and sit on the wood house roof? Answer. Katie was very upset as everything seemed to have gone wrong that morning. She was on the point of crying, but she did not want the other girls to see her doing so. So, she wanted to be alone and as soon as the bell rang, she ran to the yard and sat on the roof of the wood house. 4. What happened to, Katie's bonnet? Answer. A sudden gust of wind blew Katie's bonnet over the fence and right into the middle of Miss Miller's school. 5. What would the Miller girls do if they got hold of the bonnet? Answer. If the girls of the Miller school got hold of the bonnet, they would dance around it, play football with it and wave it over the fence in triumph. 6. How did Katie rescue her bonnet? Answer. Katie slid down the roof of the woodhouse and jumped over the fence into the yard of Miss Miller's school and rescued her bonnet. Just then the bell rang, and before the Millerites, who had come out into the yard, could catch her, she managed to get to the top of the wall. One girl caught hold of her foot and almost pulled a boot off, but Katie managed to free herself with a kick and, with a scream of, victory and fright fell head first into the middle of a group of her schoolmates on the other side of the wall. 7. What happened to the girl who had grabbed Katie's foot? Answer. Katie had released her foot seized by the girl with a kick. This made the girl fall backwards, head over heels. 8. How did Katie's schoolmates treat her when she returned safely? Answer. Katie's schoolmates were thrilled that she had got the better of the Millerites. They felt proud and triumphant. They kissed and hugged Katie, and made her tell the story of her victory again and again. b. Given below are eight words from the passage. 
write each word against its meaning. Sewing, breezy, moments, dragged, seized, wave, composition, bonnet. 1. A hat tied with strings under the chin. Answer. Bonnet. 2. Lightly windy. Answer. Breezy. 3. Brief periods of time. Answer. Moments. 4. A short piece of writing, like an essay. Answer. Composition. 5. Repairing or attaching with needle and thread. Answer. Sewing. 6. To move an object from side to side to attract attention. Answer. Wave. 7. Pulled with effort. Answer. Dragged. 8. Grabbed, took hold of suddenly or violently. Answer. Seized. C. Fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions. 1. The pirate sat dashed the fire, singing loudly. Answer. Beside. 2. The thief climbed dashed the wall and escaped. Answer. Over. 3. Barking dash delight, the dog the ran dash the ball. Answer. With, after. 4. There was a button missing dash his shirt. Answer. From. 5. Seam slipped and fell head dash heels dash the stairs. Answer. Over, down. D. Identify what kind of an adjective or adverb each of the underlying words is. 1. Katie had entered Miss Miller's school in a bold way. Answer. Bold, qualitative adjective, way. 2. Katie slid quickly down the roof. Answer. Quickly, adverb of manner. 3. She ran about looking for the lost articles. Answer. Lost, qualitative adjective, articles. 4. A day begun in this way is pretty sure to carry on badly. Answer. This dash, demonstrative adjective, way, badly, adverb of manner. 5. She had to stand still while this was being done. Answer. Still, adverb of manner. 6. It was a warm, breezy day. Answer. Warm, breezy, qualitative adjective. Des. 7. Then the bell tinkled. Answer. Then, adverb of time. E. Fill in the blanks with words from the passage listed below. Victory, rescued, notice, released, shook, fright, leap, pried, hugged, fence. 1. The masked man pointed a gun at the lady and her hands dash with dash as she tried to take off her necklace to give it to him. Answer. Shook, fright. 2. Anita takes great dash in her sketches and hopes to become a great painter. Answer. Pride. 3. My friends dash me with joy when I won the race. Answer. Hugged. 4. I did not dash the puddle in the middle of the road, and so stepped right into it. Answer. Notice. 5. With one great dash Jack reached the top of the beanstalk and began to climb down as fast as he could. Answer. Leap. 6. The police dashed the little boy who had been kidnapped and returned him, safe, to his anxious parents. Answer. Rescued. 7. After Charles was dashed from prison, he made his mind to lead and an honest life and never steal again. Answer. Released. 8. Crackers exploded and people danced and cheered on the roads to celebrate the dash of the home team. Answer. Victory. 9. There was a wooden dash all around the field.